We're here at the Pine at the Hanover Inn for this week's Coach Conversation. Joining me today is the Marjorie and Herbert Chase, Class of 1930, Director of Dartmouth Track and Field and Cross Country, Portia Dobson. Coach, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So let's look back at this past weekend. Both mm -hmm. the men's and women's teams opened their season at the HBCU and Ivy Challenge at Harvard. Yeah. What were your initial reactions about the team's performance and being able to open the season? It was a lot of excitement around this week, past weekend. Um, we are now transitioned into the indoor track and field season. We've concluded cross country and the group that we have on campus right now is we call it kind of our speed power group, right? And everyone else, our distance group's taking a break and recovering, getting recharged for, for January. And these are the folks who have been training all preseason and ready to go out and test and see what they got and, and see their hard work and efforts, you know, uh, on the track and, and look for those performances. So across the board, but I would say there's a lot more confidence. The mentality was very positive across the board for our entire team. You could see they had those good nerves and I tell the team like, our first meet, I'm looking for the fire. You know, I'm looking for the fire in your eyes. And what I mean by that is, if you're going to compete, I'm looking for that competitive aspect and that grittiness and getting out there. What's on paper, the performances, that's an afterthought. But if you guys are competitive and you got the fire, the performances are going to come. It's all about beating people. As I said, so let's go out there and beat some people. And that's what they did. And they were very pleased from this weekend. And, and we were excited on our way back home. So, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, you know, now you're back home and. This weekend, the Dartmouth December invite will be the first of three straight home meets hosted mm -hmm. by the Big Green. Yeah. Again, how does it feel to not only be competing again, but now you're back in Leveron Fieldhouse competing on your home track? Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, since I've been here, we've had so many restrictions because of, because of COVID, whether, you know, we've had masks on or, you know, we couldn't practice at certain times. And now we have a lot of freedom and returning back to what our student athletes are used to having um, when it comes to practice and, and competition. And this first meet at home, although it's more so of a low key meet for us, we have, we're, we're competing against two teams and it's an opportunity for folks on the track to compete in maybe some off events maybe not their primary event but um, definitely events in preparation for the the remainder of the season and once we come back from winter break you know we hit the ground running again with more meets in our own home so we're excited about that because down the line we're hosting championships in our house so it's good practice and preparation um, and we're excited across the board you mentioned hosting the Ivy League indoor <laughs> heptagonal championships at the end of February again how does that feel to be able to host um, that meet at the end of the season and being on your home track yeah, it's, there's there's a lot of work going into it. Um, the last uh, HEPS championships we held at Dartmouth um, was in 2018. So was, the prior to that was 2014. And I actually, um, I experienced that, that championship meet from a different perspective. You know, I was on the other end at, you know, being competitive elsewhere and being able to be a part of that here is so huge. You know, we, we, we like to think we have that home field advantage. We practice here all the time. We're competing here throughout the year. Um, but it's also a great opportunity to get everyone engaged, have our alumni and our friends and our parents and folks come out here and be able to support the team at large. We have so much talent and so much heart on our team. They've already banded together um, mentally and physically and effort with from the captains and all the young people and the seniors who this will be their last season here. Um, it, might, it may very well be an emotional one, but it's definitely going to be excited and everyone is all in and you know all hands on deck. So we're, we're excited to move forward there. Awesome. We're definitely excited to not only see <clears throat> the championships at the end of the year, but of course yeah. the season as a whole. Sure. Um, good luck this weekend. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing how the Big Green perform. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs>